2024 has been a landmark year for SpaceX, marking some of the company's most significant achievements to date. They've successfully completed numerous missions, but the standout accomplishment this year has been with their Starship rocket. While 2023 saw the first-ever Starship launch, it didn't go entirely as planned. The mission faced some setbacks, and the goals weren't fully achieved. However, in 2024, SpaceX has made considerable progress. They've completed multiple successful orbital flights with Starship, each one bringing them closer to their long-term objectives. Now, as they gear up for the next flight test, there's a lot of attention on the improvements they're making. One of the most anticipated aspects of this upcoming test is the in-orbit refueling. This is a critical capability that will allow Starship to undertake longer missions, such as those to the Moon and Mars. The idea of refueling spacecraft in space has been around for a while, but until recently it was mostly just a concept rather than something actively pursued. SpaceX, as they have done with other aspects of space exploration, is the company taking the steps to make it a reality. Just like rocket reusability, which had been thought of for years but wasn't seriously attempted until SpaceX invested in it, orbital refueling is now being actively developed by them. SpaceX's plan involves sending a starship into low Earth orbit, where it can refuel before continuing its mission. This strategy is essential because it allows the spacecraft to launch with a greater payload and less fuel, with the expectation that it will refuel in space. To make this happen, SpaceX needs to overcome several technical challenges. These include successfully docking two large spacecraft in orbit, keeping the propellants at the very low temperatures needed in the vacuum of space, and efficiently transferring the fuel between the vehicles in a microgravity environment. Each of these challenges is complex, but SpaceX is working on solving them to make orbital refueling a key part of future space missions. Docking two spacecraft in orbit is an area where SpaceX has gained valuable experience, particularly through their work with the Dragon spacecraft and the International Space Station. These missions involved precision docking maneuvers, but the scale and complexity of docking two starships present new and significant challenges. Starship is much larger and more complex than the Dragon spacecraft, which means that even slight misalignments during docking could prevent the transfer of fuel or potentially damage the spacecraft. SpaceX plans to demonstrate in-orbit refueling as early as 2025. In this demonstration, one Starship will act as a target in orbit, while a second Starship, referred to as the Chaser, will dock with it to transfer propellant. This operation will not only test the docking procedures, but also the ability to effectively transfer large amounts of cryogenic fuel in the microgravity environment of space. For a successful mission to Mars, SpaceX estimates that multiple refueling operations will be required. The exact number is still being refined, but current estimates suggest that each mission might need between 6 to 14 tanker flights to fully refuel the Starship before it can head towards Mars. This means that for every one mission to Mars, several Starship launches will be needed to deliver the required fuel to orbit. SpaceX's goal is to achieve a fully reusable Starship system that can be rapidly refueled and relaunched. The company is targeting the mid-2030s for the first crewed mission to Mars, although Musk has suggested that an uncrewed mission could happen as early as 2027 if the technology and infrastructure are ready. Achieving this goal requires solving several technical challenges. One major hurdle is the cryogenic nature of the propellants used by Starship, liquid oxygen and liquid methane, which must be kept at extremely low temperatures to remain in a liquid state. In the vacuum of space, maintaining these temperatures without significant boil-off or leakage is particularly challenging. SpaceX is developing advanced thermal management systems, including passive and active cooling techniques, to address this issue. Another challenge is the transfer of fuel between the two docked spacecraft in a microgravity environment. On Earth, gravity assists in separating liquid from gas in a tank, but in space, propellants tend to float freely, which complicates the transfer process. SpaceX is experimenting with methods such as ullage thrusters to create a small amount of acceleration, pushing the liquid to the bottom of the tank to facilitate transfer. 
They are also exploring the use of pressure differentials to drive the fuel from one tank to another. Musk has mentioned that while docking two starships is less complex than docking with the International Space Station, it still requires careful planning and execution. In addition to the technical challenges, there are significant logistical considerations for SpaceX's in-orbit refueling plans with Starship, particularly concerning the number of tanker flights required. The estimates for how many tanker flights are needed to fully refuel a Starship in low Earth orbit vary widely. Some projections suggest that as few as five tanker flights might be sufficient, while others believe it could take nearly 20. This variation largely depends on several key factors, including the efficiency of the fuel transfer process, the amount of propellant that each tanker can carry, and the specific mission requirements. For instance, NASA's current estimates for missions to the Moon under the Artemis program suggest that between 8 and 16 tanker starships may be needed to refuel a single lunar lander starship. These tankers would carry between 100 and 150 tons of fuel each, docking with an orbiting fuel depot that would then transfer the propellant to the lunar starship. This complex operation is essential for ensuring the lander has the funding 200 tons of fuel needed for a successful lunar mission. If you've made it this far into the video, we've got a special surprise for you. We're offering the most realistic Starship models exclusively to our most loyal viewers and at the most affordable price. If you're still watching, it means you're truly one of our dedicated fans, so go ahead and grab your Starship model. The link is right in the description below. Don't miss out on this limited time offer. Now, SpaceX plans to attempt one more challenging thing in their upcoming Starship test flight, catching the Super Heavy booster using the Mechazilla Tower Arms. This method has never been tried before. The idea is to have the tower's chopstick arms catch the booster as it comes down, rather than letting it splash down in the ocean as in previous tests. The decision to try this maneuver is based on the success of the last Starship launch in June 2024. During that flight, SpaceX used a virtual simulation of the tower to track and analyze the booster's descent. Although the booster landed in the ocean, the data from this simulation showed that the process of catching the booster with the tower could be feasible. These positive results have given SpaceX the confidence to test this approach in the real world during the upcoming Integrated Flight Test 5. We've already witnessed four Starship flights, and we might be just a few days away from the next one. SpaceX is preparing for its fifth test flight, officially known as Integrated Flight Test 5. This flight is currently scheduled for late August to early September 2024, pending final approval from the FAA. SpaceX has been busy completing all necessary pre-launch tests, including engine static fires, and a spin prime test for the upper stage, Ship 30. Thanks for tuning in, and I hope to see you in the next video.